Hey guys, I have been on <clears throat> on YouTube all morning watching Govinda Dean. Check him out. Um, I'll put a link in the description. He is a tarot reader and he does daily live readings. Um, but today is his two year anniversary since the first day he decided to go live. Um, so he's celebrating, he's on live all day. Every hour is a different topic and whatnot. So I've been watching him all morning. I do highly recommend you go check him out. Um, a while back he posted a link to a Kickstarter deck on his community tab. Now I don't usually <laughs> click on Kickstarter links because I don't want to be seeing any more decks that I don't really need. Um, because at the moment I'm actually selling most of my decks because I found my one true love, my, my Jamie Sawyer uh, right away clone, which I love. But because I know and love Govinda and I know he's uh, an RWS man as well um, and I'm not into Thoth or Marseille or anything I'm only into Rider Waite Smith's decks so because I knew that what he the link he posted might be uh, pleasing to my eyes I decided to have a look and I was obsessed and I backed it and a couple of weeks later it was fully funded and it came in the post at about five to eight this morning so I'm going to show it to you it's called the cheeky tarot it is so cute so it's an rws clone but he has made it like a cartoon he has left out some very tiny bits of uh, symbolism but most of it is there he has put in amazing facial expressions it's just the cutest thing ever so his name is danilo don't ask me his surname, I don't know how to pronounce it. <laughs> um, it comes in this beautiful hard box. Um, on the back we have the uh, magician and all his, his Etsy shop, his Instagram, etc, etc. You will find him on Etsy and on Insta as Whitefly Tarot. He already has a tarot deck and an oracle deck and he has just shown... Um, Kind of samples of images for a new deck he's working on uh, their animal images which i would imagine is going to be an oracle deck an animal oracle deck but this is the box <clears throat> beautiful box you have to excuse my voice i'm all kind of bunged up i'm still getting over a cold this beautiful box has these tab thingies to make it very easy to get the lid off love it um now these aren't in order because I've been shuffling away all morning. So these are the backs. The card stock is beautiful. Um, it's not a whole lot thicker, I believe, than a regular RWS. Um, but it's very good quality. It's not, they're not shiny, they're not glossy, they're matte, they're beautiful. See, there's no no glare whatsoever off them. They're absolutely gorgeous. Um, they're not um, gilded or anything they feel lovely do you know sometimes you can buy a deck and they're a bit rough on the edge they can, they can kind of hurt your hands whereas these are beautifully smooth very good um, card quality whatsoever um, so delighted with the card stock um, when I saw the images of the backs online I was like oh, I don't know um, but they're absolutely beautiful when you see them in real life they're just gorgeous Um so like I said not in order um, but I'm just going to go through them so thanks a million to Danilo um, I did message him and tell him I was going to do a deck review so he'll be watching it so I hope he comments and I hope he appreciates the uh, the review so thanks to Govinda Dean for initially sharing the link to the Kickstarter uh, without Govinda I wouldn't have purchased this beautiful deck and then when I shared it my friend Maya who's also in Ireland um, purchased the deck as well and the two of us are the only backers within Ireland. So at the moment, we're the only two people in the whole of Ireland, um, four and a half, five million people, whatever, who have this deck. So I'm very excited. And I am hoping I'll be the first review up on YouTube. So I'm going to get through it and post it and see if there's been any others um, on YouTube. But here, here's to hoping that I'm the first. And Govinda, don't watch this. If, if, you're, if you look at the stairs, don't watch this until you get your own deck because he hasn't got his yet so not in order here we go look at this beautiful seven of swords how cute um i've often kind of said 
like whether this guy is stealing them or not um he's trying to get away with something and it's like you know don't get don't get caught or you might be about to get caught or whatever so here he is a little mouse drop showing that he might get caught which is cool i love when people add in their own little little bits of symbolism but that symbolism that doesn't take over too much from the original image you know here we have the moon card how cute is that i love the colors the borders aren't too big i love the font the text font is beautiful danilo look at the colors in that that's just so cute even though it's obviously the five pentacles bit of a miserable um meaning to this card but it's beautiful strength don't ever be afraid of that lion the hermit the three of cups is just gorgeous look at this some big celebrations going on there in that card I feel like I'm celebrating today just having this deck and, and looking through it and playing with it it's just so cute the Wheel of Fortune. See, he took away all the um, you know, the Hebrew letters and everything on the, on the wheel itself, but you don't need it. The Nine of Wands. I love the way I'm, I'm, he's always bandaged up anyway, but look, he has little spots of blood and he has this real struggling kind of face on him. I'd say the cracks on the floor. Do you know, he might be, he might be showing signs of cracking. But he just needs to remember that perseverance. Three of Pentacles is very cute. Look at that. I love that everything is up a bit closer so you can kind of see the detail more. And in a lot of the cards in the regular RWS, the faces are turned away so you don't see the faces. So not only can you see the faces here, but they have beautiful facial expressions. Now the next card. This is one I got very upset about if there's a certain detail in this card. And Danilo has chosen to leave it out, but I did notice that it's in a different card in the suit instead. So we have the Nine of Pentacles, but we don't have the little snail crawling along. But you'll see in the Seven of Pentacles, he does have, no, it's not a snail, it's a little caterpillar or something he has crawling along in the Seven of Pentacles. So it's like he's making his way through the um, suit instead, do you know? So that's all right. I forgive you, Danilo. <laughs> Beautiful Ten of Swords with bats overhead. Now, I know he did say he was going to have a PDF of a guidebook. So I must ask him about that. Mind you, I just googled bat symbolism anyway and, and kind of add it to the meaning of the card, you know. <laughs> Excuse me. I love the facial expression of the Hierophant. Look what I remember. I just love that sound. A real quality card sound. It's actually like the, um, if anyone has the, the This Might Hurt Tarot, same card stock. It's beautiful. Eight of Cups. King of Swords. So he, he has parrots added in here. Beautiful, beautiful cards. Ace of Cups. Seven of Wands, Two of Swords. I like the way one eye is peeping out of the blindfold. The Two of Cups, I mean, this is one of the prettiest cards in the deck, really. I mean, in general, anyway, but look how gorgeous this is. The Tower is fabulous. I love the scary cards, as people call them. I love the Tower, Death is my favorite. Six of Pentacles, this is very cute. There's a few little animals throwing around some acorns as well. Four of Wands, again, the image is up closer so you can see the couple better. Um, and there's a little ladybird, which I'm dying to look up the symbolism of that now as well. Very cute. I love the Queen of Pentacles. I think she's probably my favorite queen. Look at her. She's gorgeous. And again, just up that bit closer and, you know, a bit more detail. Love it. Nine of Swords with the monsters under the bed. 
but again his face isn't completely covered he's peeking out through his fingers so he's keeping an eye on what's going on at the same time a few extra bits of details added in here too very cute I love the ring on his finger what else was there there was something else with the fish with the crown in the front I suppose I know there was a fish in it anyway but I think it's just that bit closer the Eight of Swords, I shouldn't laugh. The Eight of Swords, but there's a bird on the head and pooping down on top of her. Five of Wands is really nice. Again, the facial expression is just beautiful. Oh, we have this little animal down here. Um, The Lovers. So these were on Kickstarter, but he did say he's going to put them up on Etsy. And after that, I don't know. So check out White Fly Tarot on Etsy. And if you follow, obviously, his Instagram page, White Fly Tarot, then you'll see updates for everything anyway. This is my knight. My baby steps knight, as I call him. He's a um, king of pentacles, or sorry, knight of pentacles is um, Virgo. And I'm a Virgo rising, so I really resonate with this guy. Page of Cups. Beautiful. <laughs> I love facial expression in the Emperor again. Even though he's trying to look serious and scary, you can kind of see the big cuddly teddy bear underneath, can't you? Two of Wands. The colours are so so vibrant, it's beautiful. Four of Cups. <laughs> Love the faces. Oh, the Six of Wands. Look at him. He's well proud of himself. Judgment. The Knight of Cups is beautiful. He's amazing. My favourite card, Death. I love the way he has the flag as like um, a movie scene um, because it's not obviously about literal death it's just about the kind of death of a, a scene in your life a scenario in your life a story in your life do you know so it's like the dawning of a day is there in the background and you could start all over again tomorrow it's beautiful ace of swords the world I love all the sparkly things around the, uh, the reeds. Ace of Wands. Justice. Again, look at the face. That's just priceless. Four of Swords. I have to say I love the addition of crystals and candles and stuff. And if you see the... Um, cobwebs here from the spider cobs obviously if you think about it cobwebs if there's cobwebs somewhere then the place hasn't been used or cleaned or anything in a while so this kind of would say to me you know, symbolism wise uh, don't spend too much time taking taking time <laughs> don't don't take too much time out or you'll end up with cobwebs and you'll be kind of finding it harder to you know restart yourself reboot yourself whatever you know this six of swords is amazing because you can see all the faces she's looking back Do you know normally you don't see any faces at all in the six of swords so i love that you can see the faces but not only that because it's up a bit closer and he did put in waves instead of you know the original there's just like obviously look it was 1909 it was artwork was different but it was just the little lines like this to show that the water was wavy whereas here you have proper waves so it really shows that you're going from stormy waters to calmer waters you know love 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 oh one of my favorite cards as well the eight of pentacles i love that and look at him he's really putting his heart and soul into it love it three of swords Do you know what? He's actually made me like the Seven of Cups. I don't really like the Seven of Cups. It's just a bit boring for me. I need a bit more. 
But again, the fact that he's not in silhouette and that you can see his face just adds so much more to it. It's beautiful. <laughs> Five of Cups. Very cute. Knight of Wands. He's clearly raring to go. King of Wands. Queen of Cups is beautiful. Normally there's a little fish here on the sand. And I would say, you know, that you might be feeling like a fish out of water. But if you look closely, the little mermaid here in the chair is after grabbing that fish. I think it's very cute the way he's kind of changed little details, you know. Sorry about all the mess here in the background, by the way. This is my daughter's room. She has a beautiful desk that I got off my mother for her there a couple of years ago. And I was mad jealous that I didn't get it for myself. But I suppose, realistically, I have nowhere in my room to put it. But I just come in here sometimes to, to use it anyway. <laughs> Knight of Swords. Really charging forward. Oh, the Ten of Pentacles is divine. Again, up that bit closer so you can see it better. I love it. The Sun. That's so cute. <coughs> Excuse me, my throat's very dry. <clears throat> Sorry, I'm going to have to get a drink. <clears throat> Holy God, my <clears throat> throat got very dry there. All right, Queen of Wands. She is just so gorgeous. Look at that beautiful face. I think, oh, I love her. Do you know what, my friend Maya... Even though she ordered it after me, she got her deck yesterday. Um, mine went a bit A1, mine went to a different county yesterday instead of instead of my county. So she got hers before me and she messaged me and she just said how much the deck cheered her up, that it's like a ray of sunshine or something to that effect. And just the energy was so beautiful and, and you know, it just made her feel so good. <clears throat> and I was telling her how I'm sick after coming off of Maldives and, you know, Obviously, I was hoping it would do the same for me, and I'm just so happy to have it in my hands. It's, it's just gorgeous. So we have the Fool. <clears throat> oh my God, the Ace of Pentacles. The Chariot, <laughs> I, just, I laugh. Apologies guys, when I came back there after getting my drink of water, I didn't put my earphones back in, so I don't know whether you heard me or not. But anyway, it was only two or three cards and you saw them at least. But I'm back now, I have my earphones back in. So here we have the chariot. I laugh every time I pick up a card because the facial expressions are just so perfect. Um, Five of swords. That's just beautiful. Beautiful. Page of swords. Oh, I love it. Love it. Ten of Wands. Look at the um, drips of sweat running down his face from, from carrying all those wands. Time to put down the ones that are no good. The Hanged Man. Beautiful. Three of Wands. These are just perfect in a low well done. Eight of Wands. Highly recommend this deck to anyone, whether you're an existing tarot reader or new. The devil. Beautiful. So here we go with the Seven of Pentacles and here's a little slug caterpillar thingy crawling along. So he is in the deck, despite the fact that he's not in the Nine of Pentacles, so I don't mind. The Ten of Cups, lads, look at that. Again, you can see all the faces because they're that bit closer in the image. So it's just perfect. I love it. <clears throat> the nine of, oh, nine of Cups. He doesn't, he doesn't have that same John Travolta smug look in the, in the regular RWS. I'm delighted to say. This is beautiful. <gasps> that star, lads. It's so sparkly. Look at it. The magician is fierce, cute. 
He's like, I'm making magic. Get out of my way. Four of Pentacles again. Love, Spades. You've actually made me like the King of Pentacles too, because normally I don't like the King of Pentacles. He just looks like a smug, wealthy, doesn't care about anything but money prick, excuse my French. But this guy actually looks like a nice human being. So I love this. The High Priestess. She's brilliant. Page of Pentacles. Page of Wands. Temperance. Six of Cups. So cute. The Empress is just beautiful. Beautiful. Queen of Swords. <clears throat> Excuse me, lads. I'm getting really sick of this cough. Two cards left. <laughs> I can do it. Queen of Swords. She looks so serious. And cutthroat. Not cutthroat, that's a bit, a bit extreme. But, you know, she means business. She's not taking any bullshit. She's telling it like it is. And I love that. And the Two of Pentacles. And again, he has um, sweat dripping down his face from... Um, I'm trying to balance everything from doing too much. So I'm just going to pull a card for the collective. So <clears throat> what does anyone who watches this deck review need to know? Today, it's Wednesday. <clears throat> what is the third, fourth, fifth, I think? Wednesday the 5th of July? Something like that. So, what do we need to know? Yeah, I just cut the deck like this. Oh, Six of Swords is underneath. Interesting. Oh, look. I love it. So, you need to take some time out. Take some rest. Put all the things that are on your mind up on the wall, on a shelf. Leave them alone and take some time out. Maybe do a meditation. I've actually just done a meditation before lunchtime because I was on Govinda's channel and he was doing a heart meditation so I've this bit done so I love it but maybe someone watching needs to do this needs to take the time out <clears throat> and look after your own mental well-being at the moment or sometime today whenever you can okay and with the six of swords underneath so taking that time out that rest for your mental clarity will allow you to differentiate between what's on your mind that you need and what you don't need what you need to let go of what you need to get in your boat and move, move on from i always say about the six of swords i find it odd that like they're moving on to a better place but they're taking all the swords with them they're taking all the stuff that's on their mind with them so even though i have had decks whereby they're in the boat and the swords are hovering in the background or whatever, showing that they are after leaving them go. But I don't like that image either because it's not the original image. I'm so right away obsessed <laughs> that I just, I don't like that image either. But they could at least like maybe show three in the boat and three outside the boat or something. I don't know. Um, But just take the time out today to distinguish between what, what mental stuff you need and what you need to let go of what you need to move on from in order to come to a place of calm waters where you can um, kind of lead um, a better life you know so that's the message from this beautiful deck guys um, please do check out Danilo's socials Whitefly Tarot on Etsy and Instagram and if you're interested in the deck you know where to buy it he is amazing. If you contact him, he's great for getting back to you and everything. So again, thanks a million, Danilo. Um, and I will talk to you all soon. Let me know what you think of the deck, guys. It's just so beautiful. I love it. Thanks, guys. Bye.